Hey there, welcome back to my channel and if you are first time here, I am Maverick and I have got a question for you. Have you ever wondered why some people walk into a room and just light the room up while others struggle to make an impression? It is not magic. It's about understanding some key social secrets. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you, sharing the secrets that I wish I had known earlier. So stick with me and by the end of this video, you will have the know-how to shine in social situations too. But before that, I have got something special for you. Join my email list as I will share some pretty exclusive content that will help you become your best self. And if you are interested in working together or have any video topic suggestions, shoot me a message in the comments or email me. More details in the description below. Now, let me tell you my story. When I look back at my life after some breakups and even a divorce, I realized I had to grow. I dove deep, introspect, retrospect, understand what went wrong and lay out rules for myself. And you know what? It got better. I am still a work in progress, but I have come so far from where I was, say 10, or 20 years ago, I have learned, I have grown, and now I'm here to share it all with you. So let's begin with social secret number one, creating a solid foundation. You know what they say, birds of the same feather flock together? And I was one of those socially awkward birds. As a young adult, I struggled with eye contact. I spoke too fast and never really listened to others. I felt lost, anxious, and disconnected. But everything changed when I was enlisted in the army for two years of national service. It was a real wake-up call. That time of self-discovery led me to a book that would transform my life. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It taught me the importance of creating a strong first impression. Your body language, eye contact and speech set the stage for meaningful connections. Smile, stand tall, pull back your shoulder, and speak clearly. And watch how others are drawn to your confidence. Next is social secret number two, which I call the boring dude effect. Do you remember that kid who could not look people in the eye, spoke too fast, and struggled to actually form a connection? Yeah, that was me, but I learned to escape this boring dude effect by focusing on emotionally connecting. It is not about listing facts. It is about painting a picture others can relate to. Slow down, engage, and feel the emotions you are conveying. Work on engaging and validating others. Make your story a conversation rather than a monologue. Share growth, learning, and inspire change. Okay, so don't forget to be specific too and share the unique elements of your experiences. In short, make your story a conversation, right? Don't make it boring. Share 
what you learn and how you grow from it and inspire something positive to those who listen. Finally, social secret number three, never take the passive role. You see, life can be filled with aggressive or confrontational situations. I have been there and let me tell you, it is not about being a pushover or some would call it a bully. Approach these scenarios calmly, yet assertively. Express yourself without fighting, just like how you would deal with rudeness by maturely addressing the issue. Implementing these social secrets into our lives can make us more proficient in connecting with others, building stronger relationships, and leaving lasting impressions. These lessons can be powerful tools in every aspect of life. These social secrets are not just theories, guys. They are my life lessons. Life lessons I have learned from my own experiences. By applying them, I have transformed myself from a socially awkward adult into someone who can confidently engage with others. And the best part, you, you can do it too. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit the like button if this video resonates with you. Subscribe for more actionable content and leave a comment with your thoughts or any questions. Let us grow together, guys. And with that, I say goodbye.